ZK rollups might just be the narrative of the next bull run, and Polygon is leading the charge with its recent announcement. Ethereum Layer 2 scaling protocol Polygon is carrying out performance testing of a zero knowledge rollups or ZK rollup technology ahead of its full integration with its mainnet. Ryan Wyatt, president of Polygon Labs, responded to the co founder of Polygon, Sandeep's tweet about the launch of the ZK EVM coming soon, saying, The world is coming to Polygon. We're launching our ZK EVM chain years ahead of what anyone thought we could do. Polygon's ZK EVM is the first zero knowledge scaling solution that is fully equivalent with Ethereum, and all existing smart contracts, dev tools, and wallets work seamlessly. Now, to better understand what he means, we need to first understand ZK rollups better. So, we're about to get technical for a minute, so bear with me because knowing about this is going to be increasingly important for blockchains in the future. Then, after I'll explain what the actual use cases are zero knowledge rollups or ZK rollups bundle or roll up transactions in into batches that are executed off-chain. Off-chain computation reduces the amount of data that has to be posted to the blockchain. ZK rollup operators submit a summary of the changes required to represent all of the transactions in a batch rather than sending each transaction individually. They also produce validity proofs, also known as zero-knowledge proofs or ZK proofs, to prove the correctness of their changes. The validity proof demonstrates with cryptographic certainty that the proposed changes to Ethereum state are true and the end result of executing all the transactions in the batch. Zero-knowledge proofs help to prove that one party, the prover, knows information to be true to the other party, the verifier, without revealing any additional information. The ZK rollup's state is maintained by a smart contract deployed on the Ethereum network. To update this state, ZK rollup nodes must submit a validity proof for verification. As mentioned, the validity proof is a cryptographic assurance that the state change proposed by the rollup really is the result of executing the given batch of transactions. So that was a lot of very confusing terminology. Now let's do a real life example kind of real life. So this is like if I had a bunch of newspapers to give you, but I do this every day and now your house, just like the Ethereum blockchain, is getting full. You still want the newspapers, but you really need to compress the information so that your house doesn't fill up so quick. Instead of giving you the full 20 page newspaper, I cut out and give you the headlines from all the top stories. And to prove that the stories were actually from that newspaper and are true, I also provide cryptographic information, which in this case is just the newspaper date. Now you get all the stories and can verify they're true without needing all the paper that would fill up your house faster. This means that ZK rollups, the newspaper headline clipping, only needs to provide ZK proofs, the newspaper date, to finalize the transactions on Ethereum instead of posting all the transaction data on chain, aka giving you the full newspaper. ZK rollups use compression techniques to reduce transaction data. For example, accounts are represented by an index rather than an address, which saves 28 bytes of data. On-chain data publication is a significant cost for rollups, so data compression can reduce fees for users. Another type of rollup that is more popular right now with Optimism and Arbitrum are optimistic rollups. Compared to optimistic rollups, ZK rollups can have a much smaller withdrawal delay and a higher level of security because there's no need to wait for the transaction validators to be trustworthy or to wait for the fraud proof window to close. Now, what is a fraud proof? Well, a fraud proof is like walking out of a store with a TV and the alarm goes off. It's a way to verify that you own it, but it can be slower than ZK proofs, which there are no delays when moving funds from a ZK rollup to Ethereum because exit transactions are executed once the ZK rollup contract verifies the validity proof. ZK rollups outperform optimistic rollups in terms of theoretical transactions per second, transaction finality time, and a security. They fall short though in terms of EVM compatibility, which is why most developers are deploying an optimistic rollup first as they can reuse EVM code. So the reason optimistic rollups on Arbitrum and Optimism are a lot more popular right now is because they're already EVM compatible. Basically, they're ready to use out of the box. But this is where Polygon says their ZK EVM is the first zero-knowledge scaling solution that's fully equivalent with Ethereum. All existing smart contracts, dev tools, and wallets work seamlessly. And although optimistic rollups such as Arbitrum and Optimism are currently more popular, as ZK technology continues to evolve, ZK rollups may be a better solution for all types of applications in the future. ZK rollups are also hybrid scaling solutions, off-chain protocols that operate independently but derive security from Ethereum. Specifically, the Ethereum network enforces the validity state of updates on the ZK rollup and guarantees the availability of data behind every update to the rollup state. So as a result, ZK rollups are considerably safer than pure off-chain scaling scaling solutions such as sidechains, which are responsible for their own security properties. So Ethereum acts as the settlement layer for ZK rollups, where layer 2 transactions are finalized only if the layer 1 contract accepts the validity proof. This eliminates the risk of malicious operators corrupting the chain. Now, two years ago, the Polygon team estimated that developing ZK rollups with EVM compatibility would take up to 10 years. But given the strides made, it seems it's going to be a whole lot sooner. The Polygon team describes the ZK EVM as the end game, combining advances with layer 2 scalability and fast finance. 
functionality. This adds a myriad of benefits to users when adding greater throughput and lower fees. Schwartz, who is a project lead on the Polygon EVM, said the main difference between them and other ZK rollups is that ZK EVM focuses on natively scaling the Ethereum ecosystem instead of other ZK rollups who just scale transactions and enhance performance in a different virtual machine format. Polygon's approach also meets the classification of a Type 2 ZK EVM described by Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin. As per Buterin's summary, Type 2 ZK EVMs aim to be fully compatible with existing applications, but make minor modifications to Ethereum for easier development and faster proof generation. In contrast, StarkNet is positioned as a Type 4, introducing a new high-level language and requiring transpilers to translate Solidity code into their language. Now this theory is great, but what are the actual uses of zero-knowledge proofs? Number one is anonymous payments. Making payments on the blockchain would make your transaction and wallet known to multiple parties, from the business, payment provider, to the banks. Although financial surveillance is useful for preventing illegal financial activity, it can be abused and also compromise the privacy of ordinary citizens. Tornado Cash is an example of a decentralized non-custodial service that enables users to conduct private Ethereum transactions by employing zero-knowledge proofs to conceal transaction details and ensure financial anonymity. Because these are opt-in privacy tools, they're unfortunately associated with illegal activity. To overcome this, privacy must become the default setting on public blockchains, which is being done on StarkNet. Number two is identity security. Existing identity management solutions put sensitive data at risk. Zero knowledge proofs can assist individuals in validating their identities while safeguarding sensitive information. In the context of decentralized identification, zero knowledge proofs are very useful. One great example of a decentralized identity is being able to prove your citizenship without sharing your ID. Number three is zero knowledge password proof. Zero knowledge proof is also applicable to passwords. It enables one party, the prover, to to demonstrate to another party, the verifier, that it knows the password without revealing anything to the verifier other than the fact that the prover knows the password. Privacy is also incredibly important for businesses and organizations to stay competitive. Blockchain's open nature and lack of easy to use privacy features could be one of the main reasons why blockchain technology has not been widely adopted yet. It is possible that the next wave of massive adoption for cryptocurrency would be driven by real world demand for the convenience that zero knowledge technology can give to both users and businesses. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you next time.